Hi everyone, my name is Aisha and I'm here on the top of the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills, California with the Hollywood Hills and the Hollywood sign in our backdrop right here talking about delivering the most beautiful human experience just for you Hydro Alright, before we begin, just find a nice sitting position on your seat and we're going to strap our feet down on those foot boards because so today I want to teach you some drills, some workouts to work on your hip pivot or sometimes we call it a hip hinge We're not going to grab onto the handles yet I just want you to lengthen your legs here sit tall and I want you to find your hip bones right here Alright, pinching them with your thumb and your forefingers and I want you to just find that rock in your hips That's it So imagine if your body are hands on the clock You want to move those hands to an 11 and to a 1 Nothing more Shifting that body weight from the back to the front Back to the front It might take you a while to find that hip pivot or that hip hinge But it's alright I just want you to continue to try and work and find that hip pivot Why we're doing this is because if you think of that stroke as an electric circuit Our hips are your batteries This is where the power comes from If you realise you're just using your legs here that hydro is not going anywhere You're not going to get your meters in That's why we're connecting it with our upper body Right? And we want to transfer that energy That power from your lower body To the hips To the upper body So they are your batteries here Imagine getting from Boston All the way to New York This is your Grand Central Station right here Alright? So think of it as that really connection As you do your strokes Alright, so now what I want you to do is just grabbing onto those handles, light and easy here Again, with your legs lengthened, sit up tall, rolling your shoulders back Again, let's go for that 11 to 1 Just practice that, feeling it in your core as you lean back Feeling it in your hamstrings as you lean forward That's it, finding that hip pivot, that hip hinge and why we want to do this why we want to really nail down that hip movement is because we want to protect your back we want to take in that power from the glutes to your core without using your back I've heard so many members I've heard my athletes complaining about lower back pain because we're not being efficient about using our hips so really let's try to nail this down alright so just sit here for another few seconds just finding it Still sitting nice and tall here And then I want you to slowly just move forward At the catch position Find me at the catch position right here Alright, this is a major don't When we come to talk about hip pivot Alright, you don't want to pivot at the catch Uh-uh, we want to keep that same angle of that body Until you reach the end of that stroke Alright, so keeping that angle the same and then you pivot at the end You don't want to pivot at the catch Because at the catch is where the greatest load is And you want your glutes to take it and not your back So finding that nice strong posture here Drive down and hinge That's it team Just going through this motion Being more intentional in that hip pivot In these next few strokes here and another thing that you don't want to do is over pivot So remember I was saying that 11 to 1 11 to 1 You don't want a major layback Because you're using too much of your core and it takes you a lot of energy to go forward You also don't want a 2pm here Alright Because this and this is going to use a lot of your back So think of strong back here, engage your core and let's go through the motion here Nice, full strokes Just being more intentional With that hip pivot That's it team Looking good Shifting that body weight From the front All the way to the back Nice Learning how to use your hips here Very important The fundamental of a rowing stroke Because we really want to find that connection From your lower body To your upper body I will always say, if you have a chance to put a mirror next to you or record your rowing stroke, go ahead and do that It's always good to have a perceptive from outside of the hydro to see if you're doing the hip pivot right 
all right because this is a good good awareness for you to have to really protect your back all right rowers we have a lot of lower back pain so really learning how to engage your core and learning how to use those hips going to make a huge difference to your rowing experience all right team last few strokes here once you get to nail down this hip pivot you know what they say hip hip hooray <laughs> all right team let's put those handles down i hope you learned a thing or two about hip pivot or hip hinge in today's instructional video any questions let me know otherwise my name is aisha i'll see you all around